This is Beach Billy. Danny. And we're going to show you all a few of the accessories to make your Garmin TT15s and T5s uh, better for what type of hunting you're doing. We offer a ton load of different color options. Um, you know, Garmin, typically you're going to get them on either a red strap or a black strap. But we've got reflective. 13, no, 14 different 14 options different are reflective. Options for reflective. All right. We have Silen, which is going to be just your standard. We have 17 different colors of standard. So from light blues, dark blues, purples, you know, that's orange and pink. That's just your standard solid colors. We have camo. We have six different types of camo from orange, yellow, blue, gray, red. <laughs> But uh, so we have six different options in camo. They're very, very popular too. Um, yeah, we also have this new Tough Flex. Oh, that's what we put yeah, it on that collar. Tough Flex. Right. So the Tough Flex is it cleans very easy. They're very bright. The pinks are really pink, you know. So it gives you. But we only have five options right now in the Tough Flex. So if you're trying to get a bunch of different options in Tough Flex, we do not have that option yet. They're uh, they're working on it. Our so options it's on it's granite these, uh, tough. I'm sorry, not tough. Let's granite tough. Our, our options on these um, premium straps that we put on these collars, uh, they're very 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 strong straps. You don't have to worry about it falling off unless you don't put it on tight enough. Antennas, and I know this is huge. Tough skin antennas. That's one by far our most popular. We sell thousands of these a year. Um, let's see. They come in two different colors. And they come in two different lengths. Tough skins come in 21 inch and they come in 24 inch. They're honestly a better, uh, less memory than the originals as far as dog chews, everything else. They stand very straight when they're wrapped around a collar. Uh, typically, even with a 21 inch, you're going to get more range out of it when you first put it on because of the way it stays and it sticks up and it holds its own better. We also have these in 24 inch. That is by far the farthest tracking antenna we have. But do know that once you get up to 24 inches, it's plenty of antenna. You know, you're not, just know that it's going to stick out. Does it bother the dog? No. Does it affect the running? And you will see some really nice, long, stray beeps with that. I mean, that's when you have seen, we've seen 10 miles with those collars and those antennas on. Uh, it's still not, not on a consistent. Yeah, it's not a regularly, but those yeah. stray beeps and picking up that dog that has gotten out of the hunt or gotten a lot further, it does help with those increased that's right. ranges. That's right. So... Then we also have a lot of reflective antennas. We also sell a lot of these. Uh, so you can see there's two sizes here. The white ones are 21. These are actually 18 inches. Uh, we sell a lot of these with our coon collars. We sell a lot of these to coon hunters and night hunters. You know, it's just one more thing to keep your buddy honest. When you spin that light through there, an orange, an orange antenna <laughs> or a yellow antenna, you know which dog it is even when you're away from the tree. So... Um, they are popular for a lot of people that run at night. The whites are popular. It's just one more thing, too. If a dog's near a highway or a road, it's one more thing that's liable to catch a driver's attention. So, you know, we, we sell a lot of these along with the reflective collars. They're not very expensive. They hold up really good. They've, I've, had, I've had them on my collars for years. So, um, you know, the, uh, eventually it'll have to where you'll see some of the clothing start to break. But the actual inner cable in this thing is, it's indestructible. All right. Next, you want to go through yeah. some of the charging ports? I got and um, the six-port charger here. Um, six-port, obviously, allows you to charge six collars at one time. Um, it, it comes with a six-cable kit. Six-cable kit. Um, you, you can get, get it with charging clips with or charging without charging clips. Without charging clips. You got the same deal with the 10-port charger. This is a very, very popular um, uh, charger. Ten collars at a time. Um, comes with the cables. Uh, you can get the, the clips along with it as well. Uh, and no, with the TT15s and the T5 collars, you do need the cables to make them work. The only one that came with a clip that had the actual USB plugs was DC50 collars. So and This is a multi-port vehicle charger. Um, it'll do up to six collars. It'll do up to six collars at one time. Um, it has three, you can see, uh, three ends for your cables and clips right there. Um, good for you on, when you're on the road, out for the week hunting, not uh, in the cabin all day long. Uh, you can get some collars charged while um, you're waiting for the next shot. And, and do know, y'all, we have sold thousands of these. And you might say, well, I saw a 10-port charger cheaper on 
so and so that does USB. It's very important that you make sure that any USB device that you use gives enough load to charge these collars. Because if not, you can definitely damage your collars doing it. We have had to replace multiple collars over time where people have gone and got inexpensive chargers and tried to load too much on it. And if you do not have enough load to charge that collar, it will actually damage or kill it. So it is important. Everything that we have here, we have tested. I mean, we've sold thousands upon thousands of that 10-port charger. Yep. And we're getting to where now those 6-ports are extremely popular. And the vehicle one, I use myself. And same thing. So all of those are high output chargers. All of those are able to take the load that it does take to charge multiple collars. So it's very important that know that if you do use something, you've got to make sure that it has the correct correct load to be able to charge these collars because you can damage them. Um, this is a new splitter cable that we're carrying. Uh, we just started carrying this one about a week or two ago. Yeah, that's a, a, a nice, inexpensive, you know, the splitter cables have been very expensive up to now. We yep. did find a really nice aftermarket that works wonderful. We've been using it a while to make sure it's going to hold up. I've been using one at my desk for the last couple of months. And yeah, I put well. it there. I figured that was one place yeah. I knew it would get used well. So, um, let's see. Some other accessories that are really not. I want you to show them the sheath. Okay, we got yep. the sheath here. It's made by Garmin. Um, it's to protect the collar. Uh, a little difficult to figure out how to get it on. Once you do one, you'll be good. Um, the, it is really designed for more like a bear hunter or a hog hunter um, that stands a chance on the sheath actually getting, um, or the rubber piece actually getting cut, um, such as this by a hog. Um, would 100% guarantee that it's not going to get cut? No, it will not, but it will help to extend the life of uh, your collar. Um, we also have uh, it's an option to the antenna keeper. It's a little bit bigger. It covers a little bit more of the area of the rubber piece as well. Um, it, you know, it's all a preference thing when it comes to that. Do you need this? No. Um, will it? Could, will it or could it help you in the long run? Absolutely, it could. Okay. All right. Next, I'm going to show you. This is a really cool. We just got these in, which is pretty neat. Um, this is a very, very lightweight, extremely tough, extremely light. durable, made of aluminum. Um, you hog hunters and bear hunters out there, and you guys, I mean, we know it's a $300 collar. Sometimes in, it's an abusive environment that it gets put through sometimes. This is a very easy, pops right through, fits in, and there you go. It's that easy to put on. It's actually got the holes for the lights. All you have to do is pop it right back out to charge it, and um, it's got your bright, really, really bright reflective outside, and um, there it is, and it, it, it really doesn't affect size-wise. It doesn't affect what size dog you can put a full-size collar on. It is so, very light. Very we really, light. really like these. Yeah. Um, I think that's going to be a... For, we've seen lots of different covers over time, and most of them were really bulky, really heavy, and affected the way the dog you know wore it but like i said we like these a lot of course there's lights that go on these great we do have glow in the dark yep. antenna keepers i mean if you get on outdoor dog supply and look at the accessories yep don't forget um, to go to outdoordogsupply.com yep outdoordogsupply.com go to the garmin alpha accessories t5 accessories astro um you'll see we carry more than anybody else in the country so thank you